Hey guys, Temporarily Puddles back with another video. Uh, the other day on stream, I decided to go ahead and play some more Token Druid with all the hunters that are on the ladder. Uh, I made a couple edits because I didn't really like the build that's been kind of standard throughout the last couple months. Replicating Menace is pretty much run as gospel, and I don't like the card at all. I actually think it's one of the weakest cards in the deck, so I was looking for ways to kind of mitigate uh, that and kind of push some more early game pressure. I noticed that a lot of the decks on the ladder right now are pushing. To, it's basically whoever gets the board first wins the game, so I was looking to find some one-drops that I could find useful and to, to replace Replicating Menace with a more useful card to help me curve out into Forest's Aid. So because of the res priests, especially that I had been playing lately, I went ahead and put in a Serenite Taskmaster. So this helps for a couple reasons. One, it's a really high statted 1-3, or a 1-drop, it's a 2-3 obviously, and then the taunt that it summons can actually hurt res priest quite a bit. Aside from that, just having the 2-3, if you get it buffed early, or if you combo this into a buff as it is only one mana, it's just a good card in the deck. Uh, and the 0-3 taunt at the moment doesn't really have much of an effect on the game. This is only bad if you're in a position where you're already behind, but I'm hoping that as a 1-drop, I'm looking basically to play it earlier. I don't like the only running 4 1-drops in a deck that's really board-focused, and I understand that the idea of Replicating Menace is basically that you're generating large amounts of minions to control the board, but I find this just generally to be more useful. Um, I didn't get to test it a lot because it didn't actually end up coming up a lot. Uh, Mark of the Loa comes up a lot. I don't. I think this card's better than Replicating Menace. I'd rather have two three twos than a one three that summons three one ones. Like I know the stats don't line up and that it's better with taunts, but this on four is just a better tempo play. Replicating Menace is sometimes better with mechs, but you're not really running a ton, right? So you have the Microtech, you have the Snip Snap, the Explodinator. I don't know. It didn't feel as good. Oh, and Mecha Room, but. Yeah, so that was pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you do, be sure to like, subscribe, or leave a comment. See you guys next time. Bye. I, must I keep Sea Giant against Zoo, I think. It's ballsy, but I don't think it's wrong. Fuck, give me some Merrily minions. One of the highest cost cards in my deck, and no early game. I wonder why I run all these one and two drops if I'm not gonna draw them until the end of the game. This swipe will be good at least. Maybe he didn't draw a bunch of one drops and I'll still be okay. What does this deck do against Zoo? I'm curious. This deck? Not have any information on a matchup against Zoo. That's useful. So I basically have no clue what I'm supposed to do. Except I know that I'm supposed to draw better than that if I want to win. It could not be Zoo. It could be... Uh, uh, I don't know who I was kidding. It was always Zoo. Okay. Um, Dreamway. It's an interesting coin. Because it's not very good. You basically coined out Argent Squire. I mean, I see the thought. No, oh, that's pretty good. Now it all makes sense. I actually don't want to kill the 2 2. I don't care about the two, one extra. I mean, I kill three damage either way, but this way, swipe is still a viable board clear. And maybe, maybe not, right? I guess it depends what happens this turn. Swipe almost clears. Swipe doesn't clear. I don't really want to clear yet, though, if he has the lackeys. This is good. Summoning five wisps right now. So what's my win condition, do I think? Do I think I'm playing a more board control matchup, or do I think that I combo kill him and just wait till he can't prevent it? If I don't kill this, I take a lot of damage, but I still get to slam Replicating Menace, which will give me three tokens. That'll give me enough to deal with this board with the swipe. There's even a chance he trades, because he doesn't want me to kill the 2-2 two -two, um, Dire Wolf. I think this goes... I'm sorry, not this. I think this probably goes here, so that this gets the attack boost, and then he runs face with seven da six damage. Seven damage. He may trade off the tokens, I'm not sure. The tokens also give me the ability to summon Sea Giant for like free. Oh, he's gonna all trade. You're a crazy guy. 
he read the sway, which is interesting because you'd think that if I played the sway, if I had a swipe, I would have played it last turn. Summon another lackey. Should has one health. It's just free fall. Alright, maybe he didn't read the swipe as hard as I thought he would, and I definitely shouldn't have kept Sea Giant. It doesn't look like it's coming down in time to be super relevant. Swipe was slightly better. That'll buy me some time to catch back up a little bit. Um, I still... I think I pretty much have to play Whispering Woods, but it doesn't look like he has any way to deal with a Whispering Woods right now. Is that the Evolve? Is that the deal 2 damage to summon the 311 Scarabs? Scarabs? It might be the plus 1 attack with Rush. I don't know what he's doing. Okay. That's actually really gross and really, really good. So that's lethal. If he can't kill it, I have exact lethal 22. Well, I have hero power, so I have one more than lethal. But He's not running Hellfire. He has a lackey that potentially does two damage, I think. It might give it rush. So he plays the lackey here, gives the wall. Zero, two, one, two, and run. No, he's got two damage. So he trades off two minions here. Not lethal. It's still pretty strong. Get in there and fight, maggot. Oh wow. He's gonna go for the fucking clear. Yeah, that doesn't work that way. That was a big investment for him. If I can kill Magic Carpet without losing this, which is rough here because all of his fucking minions have rushed, this card is absolutely absurd. But I hope it has to get traded in. I mean, even if he trades this and then a bunch of other stuff in, it's still worth it. That's less mana. He can do it on five, mostly because this can generate a lot of mana. Yeah. So that's six. It's not hard for him to get two more damage. Yeah, there it is. question is, can he do it again? If he spends a whole nother turn killing this sea giant, I'm basically just gonna set up lethal with my savage roar. That's my goal, I think. Magic carpet is too fucking strong. He's out of grim rallies though, which have basically been his saving grace. That Leroy's brutal. It does give me an extra minion. Only one extra minion, but... He trades off into three... Yeah, you can kill four, right? So I have control of the board again for the brief second that is right now. Um, he's gonna have a decently hard time killing that, dealing with a 3-1. So hopefully I can just prevent him from really accomplishing anything this turn. Second magic carpet hurts like a mother. Silencing that's relevant. No rush though. So I have four plus eight. Does he know that he just killed himself? A natural mistake. I guess it was lethal either way with hero power. I don't know what I'm talking about. Easy game. Maybe? Versus Hunter. Um. The problem is that going too early might actually just benefit me in matchups where I already would win anyway. 
So like in this matchup, right, is another one drop really gonna help me beat Hunter on the board? Maybe, maybe not. They're pretty slow early on. This is not a good hand. Six one drops, three two drops, seven cards that I wanted. We summon this for the Panther, only because if he is, in fact, not secret and he's mech, I really need to be able to deal with this stuff. He had a slower opening than me. What are the odds? I've got lots of cards for when I actually have minions. Although I'm probably summoning the two Raptors next turn. Ursatron, Animal Companion. He's actually not mech. Always Huffer, by the way. It is always Huffer. Now I could just give him the four health. That's worse. I think having minions on the board is just good. My hand is too many, like, Savage Roars and buffs and stuff. Um, okay. Unleash. Nice. Stray mid-range hunter. This deck is a better version of my deck. Well, not quite. It's not the exact same thing. I have too many buffs. Forest Aid might just be GG though, so maybe as long as I can keep the board in a reasonable place. Sure. Man, can I get a fucking minion? What the hell is this? I swear to god. Alright, next turn is a six sick forest aid. And then I have a bunch of buffs that I can just slam down and it might just be GG. I would like to kill him before his Zuljan turn. He doesn't have coin anymore, so that's pretty plausible. I basically just have to play around Explosive Trap, which is fine, because I'll just buff these up so high that they're not affected by it anymore. So you can kill two. Double Savage Roar is eight damage. Each, each one is eight, so 16 plus six. Plus three. I really don't have lethal, but I have it next turn. He's got 14, 15, 16, 17. Nah, that's just GG. Cause I can, yeah, it's GG. Even with the two healing, he'd have to heal a lot. He'd have to double Dire Frenzy, I think, to survive. He can. It was a good try. He was earnest. He believed in himself. And he lost. Malfurion versus Lunara! 
I must protect the wild. What the fuck say to me? Ignu a lot. What is that? Do not want to keep forest aid in the mirror. Swipe is pretty good in the mirror. Power is okay. This is a mirror. This is a matchup where Star Knight Taskmaster makes it worse. But it's whatever. Okay, so I'm going to coin out just because I want to be on the board before him. And that is a key play. I want to be able to prevent him from sticking to the board while still building my board. If he dream white guardians here, I power the wild and he gets punished really hard. What shall we hunt? Battle of whoever runs out of cards first. Always fun. This matchup is super draw dependent. I think overall my deck is teched better than most of the deck. Wait, what? Wait, why? Okay. He hero powers into the 2-1. Maybe he just trades the 1-1. One, one. That's kind of bad, though. Yeah, I don't know what he's gonna do here. Swipe me. Fuck off. Prove your worth. I know I just complained that that card was bad in this matchup, but I kind of don't have a choice. I don't like playing that early either, but I need to play minions. And it's unlikely that he has two swipes in his hand because he's already fucking played one. I basically got stuck with two really bad cards in this matchup in my opening hand. It's unlucky. Cable Rat. He really double fucking... Okay. If he tries to be sneaky and trade into my lower health minions, he literally just gets swiped. And it's like brutally bad. Yeah. Yikes, my guy. Uh, can I get away with that instead? Yes. So if he plays those out, they just get swiped. Now swipe might have been slightly better there, but I don't think it probably was. My concern is that he buffs cards now, and then they become better at trading with my minions, and they become worse against, or they become better against yeah. swipe. But the other way is that if he doesn't have buffs like he hasn't had for the last couple of turns, he still has to develop his board this turn. And if he just slams a bunch of weak minions down, I might be in a position to just get a lot of value out of a swipe. I don't have enough mana to double swipe yet though, which is kind of a problem, and I don't have any other removal besides swipes, so if he does have buffs, I'm gonna be in a weird place. Okay. That's a swipe punish every time. That's GG. I think he just threw the game. Uh, I don't know what he was doing. Well played. Hmm. Well played. So he basically edge him out. Yeah. So saving swipe good. Because he didn't think I had it, so he didn't play around it. Which is always fun time.